Hello everyone. As I have uploaded the video on Instagram that what do you want to see on Excel or what do you need help in Excel. So many of you have com commented that uh, you want VLOOKUPs, you want a complex like uh, complex equation to solve or various other process calculation things. So I have comp compiled all of those questions and I am trying to make one into an equation solution. Okay. So I have here uh, many compounds like here compound, its formula, and into an equation coefficient and its temperature range. Okay. So I have uh, 700 compounds, approximately 700 compounds. I have uh, took this data from internet and uploading it. With it, and so what is the entire equation? That it's a log base 10 pressure equals to a minus b divided by t plus c. These are the a, b, c, and are the coefficient, and t is the temperature. So let's solve it. First of all, take the data here. Okay. So first is temperature. We need temperature. Later we need these. Uh, what are the? What is the compound we need? Let's say we need this uh, ethanol. So we can't find ethanol and uh, search for its coefficient. Okay, it will be too hard for us. So I'll just write here compound name, and I'll make one drop down list which is data validation. So from here we put on data, data validation and we'll select the list and we need to add the source. So this is the source of our and we should take all of this. So here now we have the list of these compounds let's say any compound like this let's say we have temperature of 50 degrees any, any. now we need to take uh, a b c and this formula formula a a b C. C. T minimum, T maximum. We are taking this temperature range because these are the data we have A, B, and C. These are these only give uh, actual result within this range. Okay, so we need to consider the temperature range also. So now we have the we look up part we need to take data according to the compound name okay so it's time for we look up data well, let's say we look up now what is the value for we look up what we are looking for we are looking for the compound name this okay we'll uh, and then the table array we should take all of them so here what i did is uh, added v lookup we i take uh, this uh, re reference the compound name uh, from the data validation column and then we select I selected this uh, table of the list and then I added two. Two means I I have uh, reference this compound name as one in the sec second column of this the formula is the result which I am gonna show you this. Now I'll drag it back, drag it down 
then it has two over here i'll add three because it's the third column from the reference so i got the a and then the b b value i'll get here oh sorry four four here is five this is gonna be six and this will be seven okay. i have let's recheck for this the first first compound we have one 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 Trifluoroethane, okay. Trifluoroethane. Its chemical chemical formula is C two H three F five over here. Here we'll have the same. The A A coefficient is six point nine zero three eight. Six point nine zero three eight here. B seven eighty eight point two one. B seven eighty eight point two one. Similarly, these all are the same. Okay. So we got the data. Let's make it this. this. So now the calculation part. We need pressure, the vapor pressure in mmHg. So we'll add some formula over here. We'll have some logical formula also. Like we first take if. Because we need to check the temperature range also. Okay, so we added if this is the first condition, and we'll add the second condition. The second condition over here. While solving this equation, we need to take care about the brackets also because they are very crucial. And if any bracket is got missed or in misplaced, we lose all the equation. So we need to take care about the brackets. Okay. So what is the false value over here? We added those conditions. If they are if they are true, we'll have the equation of Antoine equation. But if uh, the temperature of our like says it is fifty degrees and we have minus three to twenty seven, it is false. False for our condition. So what will be then? It will be null. We will say false. See false. But if we make it uh, under the range, so we'll get the answer of end to end equation. Let's say now we will change some compound. Uh, ethyl nitrate so it has the range of 0 to 60 i have here 0 degree celsius temperature so it is showing me the vapor pressure of it. if we if i have minus 1 it will say nothing if i exceed temperature 61 it will say false so 
the temperature should be under the range of the compound. I said 55, it will give me the result. 